Hey there. In this lesson, we are going to be going over phone numbers in high level. Get ready to dial in. First, navigate to your sub account and then to the settings. From there, scroll down until you see phone numbers. At the top, you should see five areas. The areas are called manage numbers, usage summary, regulatory bundle address, trust center, and advanced settings. If you do not see these things, it's because you haven't set up your phone integration yet. To do this, go to your agency settings and click phone integration. From there, you can sign up with the lead connector. And then, once it is done, you can manage your sub account settings. Now, back to the sub account. Manage numbers is where you will buy the numbers you want and be able to manage them as well as number pools and verified caller IDS. Usage summary gives you a breakdown of how much money has been spent on your numbers and where exactly that money is allocated to. A regulatory bundle address is only needed if you are buying numbers outside of the US and Canada. If you are, provisioning phone numbers in most countries requires registration due to local telephony laws. These regulations often require providing a set of identity documentation, aka regulatory bundle to carriers or a local enforcement agency. The trust center is where the A2P registration application is. Refer to our lesson on that if you need any help setting up. Lastly, advanced settings is where you can control and change your SMS carrier. Different carriers provide different benefits. For example, some carriers may be easier to use than others or may offer affordable prices. Some carriers include Twilio, Simple Texting, Sakari, Slick Text, Text Magic, and more. Phone numbers are needed and you can have as many as you'd like. Registering a number in Go High Level allows bi-directional text messaging, AKA, being able to respond to your customers via text as well as outbound calling. It will hold all of the records of texts or calls in the system as well, so you can access them whenever you need to. Once you navigate back to the Manage Numbers menu, there are three sections, phone numbers, number pools, and verified caller IDs. Let's first start with the phone numbers. Go ahead and click the plus add number button, and here is where you'll find any available numbers as well as the price. At the top, you can choose which country you want to get the number from, as well as apply a filter and also refresh the results. You can search by desired number or even phrase by using the filter. You know how many companies will spell out the last few digits of their phone number to create a word? It's just like that. For example, I'm going to search for courses by clicking the filter button and entering it in. You can match it to the first, last, or any part of the number. I'm going to choose end so the last six digits spell out courses. You can adjust what type of number you want, whether local or toll-free or both, as well as the number capabilities. After clicking apply, you can choose any of the numbers you'd like, and it even tells you which city and state it's from. Once you've chosen which one you want, click proceed to buy. If you haven't registered yet for A2P, it will give you a prompt to register now so you can use your number. Now, you'll want to click the three dots to the right of your number and click Edit Configuration. From here, you can name the number. I usually name it after whatever I will use it for, so I will call it Example. For call forwarding, select the number you want the call to go to. For this, I'm going to use the Sweet Course phone number. You have a few options which all depend on your preferences. If you select the pass called Number as the Number ID box, the system will show you the caller's specific number, and if you don't select it, it will show their smart number to you. A smart number just identifies the caller, whether or not they're in your contacts. You can also select Use Your Verified Phone Number as Caller ID if you have one set up and would like for it to show when using this number. You'll want to keep Enable Call Connect feature enabled. That lets the receiver press a button to accept a call. Next, what is a whisper message? It is a message that you would receive when you're getting a call that can alert you to who is calling you. It's totally up to you if you'd like this buffer or if you don't want to have it. Lastly, you can select to record the calls and it gives you a simple statement that the caller will hear to know that their call is being recorded. Recordings can be helpful for training purposes with your employees 
but you must include that statement to comply with legal requirements. Call timeout is how long you want to let the system try to connect the call. You can usually put anywhere between 30-60 seconds. You can also ring the incoming call to specific users if you'd like. Now, I'm going to click Save. Next, you can click Number Pools. This is something you use for advertising purposes. It will then ask if this is for a marketing campaign or visitor's activity. What you choose depends on what you're seeking. Choosing the marketing campaign will stream any calls to one specific number for that campaign. On the other hand, choosing visitor activity will create multiple numbers that correlate with website visitors, PPC keywords, and more. If you decide to use this function, simply go through the process and select whatever options apply to your business needs. Lastly, there is a verified caller ID. This is where you can verify your business or personal number in order to use it as a caller ID instead of actual LC phone numbers. This is a way for customers to ensure the caller is real, not spoofed. Simply enter in your number and click verify to start using it. And there you have it, the lowdown on high-level phone numbers. Thank you.